Well, hello and welcome back to Abhijin's SketchUp workshop. It's a hot summer day over here in the, well, presumably English countryside. And the peasants need a thatched roof for keeping things under the roof. Ah, so let's see. What do we need? First, we need a nice little barn looking place like this one, which I bought from a store. And then you need some thatch. Now everybody brings their own thatch. I just found this particular example today. So, now when making a thatch roof, I found that the best way to do it is to do it simple. The creators of Age of Empires, the new graphics, they have very advanced thatch creation methods, like, I don't know, a fur modifier, so it's actually not even thatch or grass, it's actually animal fur that looks like grass in, in some of the instances. Uh, well, we are not going to do that. Right? We are going to make our own thatch. The poor man's thatch. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so to do so, you need a cup of thatch and you need a rectangular shape, just like this one here. So, to accomplish it the best, well, let's paint the rectangular shape and ta-da, let's turn it into a rectangle. Now let's reduce the amount of faces it has for now. All right, so we don't want to render all of it. Now, we are going to make it look appear thicker, actually make it really thicker. Right? Thick is good when it comes to thatch. So we just create these angles here. Ta-da! And now the thatch has received some much needed thickness. Alright, so we're going to turn this into a group, so because I want to show you another possible experiment with the thatch. So, okay. Now, if you get the Erode plugin from the SketchUp uh, plugin warehouse, you can do this to the thatch. You can technically create uh, extra geometry in it, and it's, it looks natural. You know, that's that's what I like about it, and it's you know it's sort of unpredictable, but after some time you can probably guess what sort of effect you will be getting. So there we go. So now we have our dedicated thatch roof. Now you can choose either one of these. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead with this more geometrically complex one because lo and behold the geometry on this one is out of this world while the other one is just nice and simple so you want to keep it nice and simple if your computer can't run it supposedly ah. so here we go now we've got one side of our thatch uh, let's angle it a little bit. Actually, I've already prepared a frame for it so that we know what sort of ang angle we want for our thatch. I, oh, and I hope you enjoy the nature sounds. I really love them. How oh, the birds sound nice. I'm using a free recording software so that can go in any direction, really. Okay, so we have created one side of our thatch. Let's turn it into a group like this. And let's make another side of the thatch. Okay, sometimes uh, matching the geometry is a good idea. Don't, don't worry about the two types of thatch being like this. Just overlap them try to overlap them a bit try to find a point which you think looks nice again once we render it it will all look different but here 
let's just keep the thatch nice. There we go. Now, I am quite happy with the look of this. So let's uh, just squeeze it a bit here and here. There we go. Now we have our little thatch and for consistency sake, but not necessarily something I would do usually. I'll do this. Oh. And now we have our basic thatch roof shape. Just we're going to make a component here, create it. And we're just going to swing it over to our little little construction. There we go. It's lovely. However, you might notice that it is missing some a certain feature, right? Because uh, you know, thatch is made of grass and uh, while this looks nice and all, there should be some grass on it somewhere. I presume sticking out. So, here we have this as a component. Perfect. Now I'm going to teach you how to make the grass. Uh, it should be nice and simple, no need to overdo it. So the grass is best made by creating a couple of these weird looking triangles, like this. So for this tutorial we'll create three different ones. You can make as many variations as you want to. You will see later on why and how. Now I have been trying a bazillion different ideas for this one, but I found that actually simplicity is key, because it's a uh, thatch, this grass put, protruding out of the thatch is really a little bit difficult to, to represent when rendering, so it will always look a bit off, and if you overdo it, it's not going to do you that not going to do you any favors so just keep it simple like this there we go we have three now i'm going to call make a group out of them i'm going to twist them like this oh nice i'm going to place them like this okay turn it into a group mm -hmm. and now we're going to angle it as well we need it at an angle there we go. Now, it is entirely up to you how much thatch you generally want. I mean, how much of this grass you generally want to stick out of the thatch. Uh, I notice that the more, uh, sometimes less is more. So I'm going to go with that approach. Now, I have no idea what the result will be like. So this is trial and error. So a little bit of thickness here, and now we're going to turn that into a group because I think it turned out to be quite a successful looking bunch of grass. Okay, we're just going to... Hmm, no, that's the wrong one. Okay, I'm going to just squeeze these a bit together, and boom. Okay, so this is it. Of course, as you can see, it's not really consistent with the slope of the thatch. So I'm going to change that, and I'm going to make it consistent. There you go. We, we have no mistakes here, just happy little accidents. There we go. Now we just copy over the thatch. For fun, we rotate it. We move it to the other side. Now, even though the thatch on the other side won't be that visible, I assure you that it casts a shadow, and the shadow can be visually appealing sometimes. You know, you'll get that little burr effect all over the place. It's really nice. And the shadow will add to the general you know, feel of the oh this looks nice i have to admit i think it does <laughs> no idea absolutely subjective here okay 
and now all right this is it now you can see these bits sticking out don't worry about them now comes the extra fancy part of course so, uh, a thatched roof sometimes is not as consistent as you want to so just do this and do this so a few random bits of thatch poking out haven't hurt anyone yet they're all to get you okay this is should this should be enough and now finally uh, the last part of the thatch is actually going to be a little bit difficult to adjust so bear with me okay uh, so again this is the super duper poor man's version which but I've been using it and it's shown okay-ish results so far all right so now we're going to turn it into this oh, nice Mr. Thatch, please behave. I'm going to select the individual thatch. Hmm. Not much I can do there. Just shorten it a bit. A little bit. You know, you don't want it to be perfectly perfect now, do you? Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Of course, this is just really one of the pole, one of the many possible techniques some of them far more sophisticated than this one and there we go uh, thatch is up and ready but now I want to give you one little tip about you know thatch so sometimes it's good to add a bit of decoration to the roof so you can do that via many different means I'm just going to add these little roof horns on a couple of spots on top of the roof uh, why do I do that I don't know I just saw it on some buildings looks historically plausible and well breaks up the monotony a little bit I'm going to create a little little branch oh, I've got lots of materials up in this model most of it useless Texturing isn't the strongest suit of SketchUp, however, for what we are doing, we do not need the best of the best textures anyway. Ah, see that one? Now we have a little stick protruding out of it. That's always nice. So now you could add a uh, couple of stones here. I don't think I have any stones aside from these here, but I'm not going to use them for that. So as you can see, the roof is carried over here. And uh, there's one more little detail I would like to add. So let me just adjust this one. Okay, make it a little bit wider so that the roof is 
you know, far more imposing. And uh, select everything. All right, let me just check. OK. So let me just fix this, make it a little bit wider. And there we go. All right, now finally, if you're using Twilight Render, which I explained how to use in a completely different yet related video get it use it it's it's for free oh and also this leather I love it I made it on like in a second okay so now let's get you all out of the scene oh and my trusted little friend mr. light source we're going to put a little light source right up here just to see how it's going to behave with the whole thing. All right, so wish us luck. Render and boom. So, uh, a word of warning uh, when you use Twilight Render, actually, uh, Twilight Render does not allow you to export a image aside from the JPEG format. So, it would be cool to take a screenshot. Now, I don't know if I'll get to take a screenshot here. Because SketchUp is being a bit naughty. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. So desktop, save. No. Okay, so the render will complete, but I actually caught us a little bit of a glimpse of the thing without the render. Okay, and we're going to call it the thatch one. And we're going to take this thing into uh, GIMP. Okay. So, quite a few. Uh, so, increase the saturation. In this case, I'm just going to go by five. You should choose your, uh, it on your own. And the contrast by five as well. All right, perfect. GIMP is a lifesaver when it comes to filling in these uh, for thatched roofs. Sometimes I don't use it, but for thatched roofs, it's my go-to tool. See, it's all well done. All right, and let me see here. That was cool. So we're going to file over right. And now we're taking it into SLX Studio. We're going to select. We're going to make a little selection box, one of our own. I think it should be two by one. No, oof, totally made there made a mistake there. Aha. Uh -huh. Selection box, custom, one by two, more like. Okay. There you go. So this should actually be like uh, the side of a town center. Of course, I would make it a little bit lower in that case, but it could fill in the row. Okay, and then we apply and we go to apply color palette, standard graphics in this case. All right, save. Now we're just going to go through the finishing touches. The shadow will be colored red. And everything that's not the shadow, don't color it red, please. Okay, so we need then to go through this 
bit of a boring process filling in everything. So let's just get the general gist of the, uh, the general look of the thatch as it will appear in game so that you know what you are getting with this method. And the tip to here and the dude will be there. Okay, this will be enough. It's a tutorial. Also, I like this thatched roof because it turns out uh, to have a bit of a mossy look to it, which is really neat for a feudal age setting. And also a little bit of this. Now we have the look we always dreamed of. That's true. Da 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 da. Okay. And now. Oh, I have to change this to blue. Here we have a Turtle Studio to check the finished image. And that's it. So that's how you make a thatched roof.